Hello and welcome or welcome back to our channel, Annie Plus Luke. We are cruising the Alaskan Inside Passage on Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas in this video series. If you want to see some of our other Royal Caribbean cruise content, which is more of the tropical Caribbean stuff, be sure to check out the playlist linked in the description box below. In this video, however, we will be sharing our experience with buying Royal Caribbean's VIP passes known as the Key. This will be an overview of the Key on our Alaskan cruise, but if you're curious about how the Key works on Caribbean cruises, be sure to check out our other Key review video from our ABC Islands cruise on Voyager of the Seas, also linked in the description box below. Everyone always asks, is the Key worth the price? And that varies depending on many factors. We purchased our key passes during the Black Friday deals, and since it gives each passenger who purchases it access to ship Wi-Fi, it was definitely worth it for us because we would have bought the internet packages anyway, and the key offers additional perks with the Wi-Fi. So, what are some of those other perks to purchasing the key? Well, the first one, and one of the most important ones in my opinion, is the quick embarkation process you get with the key. Print your luggage tags in advance and attach them to all the bags you don't want to carry around with you. Then you can drop off all of those bags at the porters without waiting to chat with anyone since you already have them tagged. Then with the key, you can skip the entire huge line you'll see queuing up to go inside the terminal and proceed directly to door number one, where there will be signs for suite class passengers and for the key. You'll be given a colored sticker and you'll bypass all the check-in lines. Make sure to have your passports and set sail passes in hand, either printed or open on the Royal Caribbean app, go. so it'll go even faster and more smoothly. For us, it was like five minutes and we were on the ship. Super easy, quick, and convenient. Next stop, Alaska. Good morning. ship. This is kind of the loading area where you get your baggage drop off. This is the terminal. The next best part about purchasing the key is your welcome aboard Chops Grill lunch. This lunch is for key and sweet guests only and is food from the Chops Grill menu served in one of the main dining rooms. This is nice to have since the buffet is always packed with huge lines on embarkation day. So it's great to be able to sit down and have good food served to you right upon embarking. You can also drop off your carry-on bags at the main dining room as another perk, but we just had our backpacks with stuff we needed in them like cameras, passports, swimwear, etc. So we opted to keep ours with us this time. Another reason we like to purchase the key is for the special times for onboard activities. Key guests can participate in their own special time slots for activities like the Flow Rider, Rock Climbing Wall, and on Quantum, you also get special times for the North Star, iFly, and Bumper Cars. I really appreciated this, as for these activities there was an additional charge on sea days, and they were only free on port days when we had booked excursions. But with the key, we got exclusive times for us to do these activities without missing our shore excursions and without waiting in line with a bunch of other guests. I really wish that roller skating and laser tag also had key exclusive times, but these activities were not included with the key on our sailing. As we really enjoy going to the onboard shows, another big perk for us is the VIP seating at the 270 and Royal Theatre venue for key and suite guests. Granted, you must still show up early to get your seat as they open it all up to anybody 10 minutes prior to showtime. But the seats reserved for key and suite guests are typically the front rows of the first balcony, which in my opinion are the best seats in both venues, so we enjoyed coming early to snag these great seats with our key.
The final reason to purchase the key is for choice disembarkation time and for priority tendering at ports that need to be tendered. We didn't really use this feature as none of the ports we visited on this Alaskan cruise required tendering, and on disembarkation, we had set up for an airport transfer, so we had to go by that disembarkation time. However, these are still really great perks if you have the opportunity or need to use them. You also get an exclusive disembarkation day breakfast if you have time to use that. So, would we purchase the key again? Yes, since obviously the perks are worth it to us, and we reserve it when there are sales or promotions going on, so we typically pay $17 to $20 per person for the VIP service. But if you don't plan to use ship Wi-Fi, and you miss the sales or promotions, spending $40 per person for the key would probably not be worth it. So ultimately, it's up to you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more cruising and travel content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.